We've already looked at how to amend a purchase invoice in Xero, but what happens if your purchase invoice has already been paid and that's a little bit different? It's not quite so straightforward, but let's go and dive into Xero and I'll show you how to deal with that. So we're going to go and search for it. So we'll go to bills you need to pay, choose the search option. And we're looking for a bill from Staples. Find the bill, click on the blue. Let us drill down into it. Now we go to bill options, drop down, and we'll choose the edit. Now what you'll see here is you get a message from Zero telling you that if there's payments applied, only some of the fields can be edited. And you can actually see the fields that can be edited. So we could change who it's from. We can't change the date, we can change the due date, we can change the reference, we can change the description. And I'm just going to test this. But we can't change quantities and unit prices. We can change the code, but we can't change the tax rate. So we're restricted. There's a certain amount we can change, but we can't change everything. We can't add new lines, for example. So what do we do if we've got an invoice and we actually want to change, let's say the date was wrong and we want to change it. So what do we actually do in this instance? Well, what we need to do is first of all, is we need to unallocate the payment. So there's a payment match to that invoice. So we click on the payment Again, it's the blue that we click on, it takes us into the payment. And then within the payment, we go to options and we choose remove and redo. And that's going to break the link between the payment and the invoice. Now we're back in the invoice. And if we choose bill options and edit this time, we can change anything that we want. So let's say that the date was wrong and it should be the 1st of June. We can amend that. We can amend any other fields that we want. Once we're happy with that, we just choose update. And then what we need to remember is that this invoice has been paid. So we need to reallocate the payment. So we would go back to our dashboard and we will go back to the bank reconciliation and because we chose remove and redo the payment of that invoice has appeared back on the bank reconciliation and then we just need to go and match it again and that's it fairly straightforward but you just need to understand if you're amending a purchase invoice in zero and it's already been paid, the chances are you will need to break the link between the invoice and the payment, make your amendment, and then go back to your bank rec and reallocate the payment. Hope you find that tip useful. Why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can find new zero tips as and when they appear.